please sit down. We'll uh, have a small talk or look at each other for a minute while the press comes in and take a picture. All right, Bill. Here we started with here and how is how is it an incredible and stable? Thank you for your wonderful note. And we read it. Mr. President, Soviet leader Gorbachev has said again that you're trying to stir up hatred of the Soviet Union and that by trying to militarize space you could doom the arms force. What's your response to him, sir? Chris is that there's a press conference tonight and let's just talk about it then. I'll be there. <laughs> Tell us anything about what you're going to discuss with these gentlemen, sir. Mm -hmm. okay. Saving everything for tonight. Let's go. <laughs> 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 support a strong defense program, but they've been bombarded with press reports that uh, waste in the defense efforts, such things as $436 hammers. And the first error in that is, uh, drop the S, it was a $436 hammer. It was in a bill or a contract and an alert individual in the Naval Department, uh, Navy Department found it immediately, it was never bought. And uh, I think you've been buying tens of thousands of hammers at between six and eight dollars. Eighty thousand last year. Eighty thousand. <laughs> An average of seven dollars. That's right. And better than better than the true value. Make yourself for less. There are more stories of the same, and the result is that we've had a credibility problem. We're trying to convince the American people of what has been going forward in the defense buildup. So. I'm counting on all of you to turn the situation around. Uh, we have a historic opportunity, I think, to do that, but also where you find changes that you believe in your best thinking could be made that would improve the, our situation and make us even more efficient. Why we want to hear from that. You have a, a tough road ahead in the Department of Defense and the JCS organization the chain of command, all of these things are critical to our national security. I hope you'll stay on schedule and reach the consensus that we need to reunite the Congress, the Defense Department, and the American people behind this defense program. I have to tell you one, one thing, that of all the things that you can be proud of in this job that I've got, nothing has ever made me more proud than the young men and women who are in uniform in our military today. But uh, that's enough for me. Dave, why don't you tell me what you can do? Well, Mr. President, thank you very much. Good morning, Mr. President. Lucky, how are you? The Master of Australia. How do you do? Good morning, Mr. President. Thank you very, very much. Mr. 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 Hello there. Thank you. Hello there. Mr. Locke. Yes, sure. And Mr. Lilly, State Department. Yes, Hello there. But you and I go in front of the fireplace for a picture, and then the next you will join us after. <laughs> Thank you. We'll exchange our papers over here. 
Well, pleased to welcome you, representing the great democracy. Thank you, Mr. President. And I bring you warm greetings from the Prime Minister, Mr. Hook. Well, Hook. Please return mine. We had a good meeting in February, and George Schultz was very pleased with his visit there. Yes, Maybe. yes, yes. I think that went very well. As I was very happy with it anyway. <laughs> all right. Well, we... Well, I think I give you all those. That all right. There's yours. And now, would you come in and join us? Put the cross in the middle. Nice, we'll do it in the middle. Thank you. All right. Well, well, well we're very glad to be here. It's the uh, most important country in the world from our point of view, and uh, it's a great honour to be able to come here and uh, work with your administration. Well, we're pleased to have you. Thank I'll you. have you know at our ranch in California, I have puzzled many, many people. I have a little present from Australia, and as they turn in the gate, start down toward the ranch house, there on a tree is a yellow and black sign with a picture of a kangaroo and says, be careful, it's a kangaroo crossing. <laughs> <laughs> One of those things from the, from the road. Uh, so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And every once in a while, yeah. someone will say, as they did just a few weeks ago, yeah. you really have some kangaroo? And I say, no, just the sign. <laughs> <laughs> it was my present right. from one of our previous ambassadors. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a nice That's thing a good to have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, the Ambassador of the Dominican Republic. Yes. Mr. Ambassador. 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 Belize. How do you do? How do you do, Mr. President? Nice to have you here. Pleasure, sir. And Mrs. Oh, Lang. Hello. Pleasure to see you. And this is daughter Nash. Hello there. And son Hobie. Hello. You and I will over and have a picture taken in front of the fireplace, and then after that, you will all come in and have a family picture. Thank you. All right. Yours is one of the Model democracies, and I'm pleased with the relationship that the two countries have. So, we are proud to have a relationship of that sort with you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now, did you want to fly? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. There. I've got your family. <laughs> <laughs>
President, the Ambassador of Costa Rica. Mr. Ambassador. Mr. President, can you do fine thing to do? Like and Mrs. Vargas. Mrs. Vargas. Vargas. And, and the ambassador will present his children. This is my oldest daughter, Anna. Nice and mm -hmm. uh, second daughter, Laura. My younger son, Eugenio. My oldest son, Felipe. And my son in law, Roberto. just fine, I really do, and uh, I appreciate that, and incidentally, if you have an opportunity to give my greetings to you, to President Monet. I certainly will do that. Uh, we are still having a little bit of problems with the IMF and Yucatan people out there. We would appreciate it very much. I shall look into that. I'm, uh, uh, naturally, we are looking forward to the same kind of support that you gave us this year and in the future, particularly with the KIT funds, which I believe are well, we could have told you that well. We are having some problems budget wise, but uh, I'll, I'll look into uh, that. Please. We are grateful for the position you were taking in regard to Nicaragua. Well, we, I will be in friends with you in the States. I want my own personal opinion is that the U.S. would have a more friendly ally in the world. We are always admire and love you. No, I that. appreciate that. Why don't you all come in here and we'll have a group picture. Yeah. Group. Yeah. I think of the ladies, but yes, but you know, mm -hmm. in the middle here, over on the right. Could we, um, could I have the two of you, or one of you come over on the side? Good. Five and a half in New York. Then I had 12 years in Dublin. Well, and Back your family here. was with you here living in America? Yes, then? yes, indeed. Went to school here. Yes. Well, I won't have to tell you that the Americans have a warm spot of the heart for Ireland, and especially Americans like myself. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I had the pleasure of shaking your hand when you were in Ireland last year. I have been safe. Well, but uh, you had a lot of hands to shake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, this is my letter. Credence than the letter of uh, the call of my predecessor and my remarks. And now, would you come in and join us? Here. Well, right, whichever side you like. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, hope you're very pleased. Mm -hmm. Happy here. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President. 
the investor, Mr. President, the ambassador of Uruguay. All right. I'm Mr. President, the ambassador. Thank you, sir. And Mrs. Reese. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Thank you. And Sarah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Daughter, How do you do, Mr. President? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Well, we're pleased about the good relations we have between our two countries. And you and I will go over and have a picture taken in front of the fireplace. And uh, then you, you will all join us for a picture. Thank you, sir. We'll exchange. Thank you. All right. Now. <laughs> well, thank you very thank you much. much. We're pleased to have you up here. We're doing very good right. The weather is better here than it is in I, I have to go back tonight, but uh, oh, I, I know a lot about you, sir, because uh, one of my good friends is Adam Banks, who worked uh, as a speech writer. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. So, Claire and I are from London uh, have him as a guest. So, we've heard a lot about you. Well. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. <laughs> <laughs>